In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a Raspberry Pi to a SIM 800L GSM module. You will see here that it is already connected to some peripherals here. It has a two LEDs and one button. It is connected to the IO pins of the Raspberry Pi as well as on the LED indicator of the SIM 800L. This red LED where shows the indicator of the SIM 800L is very important because you will know the status of the connectivity even if you're if it, even if this is already in the in the chassis. Let's now go on our main topic which is the connection between these two beautiful boards. You will see here that there are four wires connecting these two. The red wire is the positive. This is this is 5 volts in the Raspberry Pi going there and then it will go on this diode going here in the positive of the SIM 800L. The white one is negative, it will go here and then these two will be UART lines, the RX and the TX. So if I move this like this, you will see the labels here. There is RX and TX. So to show you exactly where it is, let me twist it like that and you will see that this pin, this one, is connected to the RX, to the RX, and then this pin is connected to the TX. So those are the UART lines where you can send your commands to the Raspberry Pi. So what is this mystery diode? How, how I was able to decide to, to connect that one. That diode is 1N5440 and these are the characteristics of that diode. It has a forward current of 3 ampere and a forward voltage of 0 0.8 up to 1 volt. So the, the CIM800L will try to get as much current from the Raspberry Pi and we cannot afford to use a diode that won't be able to cater that current requirement. So 3 amps will be enough for that since this, it will be only just a small amount of time during transmission and then it will go down again. We'll just have to avoid the, we just have to ensure that those spikes are the those spikes when the CIM800 starts to transmit is allowable on the diode that we will use. So in your next project or in any project that you will require a CIM800 to the Raspberry Pi, you can use this very simple setup. No back converters, no boost or whatever. So just one diode and you're ready to go. Uh, I will create a new video, a separate video on the codes that I use in interfacing these two boards and if you think this video is helpful to you please don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button thank you